Hey guys, Xbox Games here, check it out. We're back with another little small, kind of little Lego set review here. Now some of you guys probably already know, and you've seen this thing on the box before. Oh man, it's not even gonna fit back there. But this thing is gonna be uh, Lego Star Wars. It is kit number, oh, you can't even see it. 75235, this is called the X-Wing Starfighter Trench Run. And again, I don't wanna do any spoilers and break anything in the movie, but you know, this is a pretty iconic scene um, in some of the Star Wars movies. So let's check it out. Again, 132 pieces. It took us, I don't know, um, 15, 20 minutes to put together, somewhere in there. So again, I don't want to do any spoilers, but again, it is an iconic part in the movie. So let's get into it. So we're going to check out the X-Wing at the end, right? This thing is just, I love it. So first things first, we can check out the two, well, you get three minifigures. We'll check out two of them. Of course, you get R2-D2, right? And what's nice here is it's a full R2-D2, and what do I mean by that is, um, sometimes, right, you guys just get, you just get the head, and it's like, you just put it onto, like, the base like that, and that's all you get. Okay, it looks cool, but, you know, maybe you want to play with the thing all by itself, so you do get a full R2-D2, and you can't go wrong with that. I love it. And then, of course, you get a generic Stormtrooper here. Whoa. And, you know, you just get one because, again, he's running that kind of, uh, the trench guns up there. He does have kind of the classic uh, torso and the leg printing, the classic helmet, and, of course, you know, just kind of the mean looking face underneath, of course, with a, just a classic gun there with the little slide, or with the uh, little scope on their back, pretty much the same. This is kind of the run-of-the-mill um, Stormtrooper that you typically get in a lot of the sets. So there is two. Let's take a look at uh, <laughs> kind of this little set right here, this little trench runner. So, you know, you're looking at this and you're like, what is this all about? Well, one of the things in the movies, again, when they're doing an attack, the X-Wings, um, there's a trench that the X-Wings actually go to, a very iconic scene, and they have kind of these um, these cannons just, just shooting at them, and they're just dodging bullets left and right. So this is just awesome, right? You know, you can get a couple of these. They definitely face more than just one. They face quite a bit. So you kind of have this turret up top, which does move back and forth. You know, kind of not that bad. And you do, of course, have the, um, right, <laughs> the little shooter that comes out there. As you guys saw, the little green piece just goes right in the back. So, definitely cool. You got kind of this little base station with the little uh, kind of control panel here with, again, kind of the energy that they, that they uh, generate. Again, I don't want to do any spoilers, but if you guys have seen the movies, you know what I'm talking about. That kind of spins, which is nice. And of course, you got a few more kind of energy cells just kind of coming in here. So they can shoot these and it just explode the whole set if they want to. But still a nice little piece nonetheless. The big one here. Oh, man, do I do I even got to get to it? It is going to be the X-Wing itself. Look at that. And this is awesome because, you know, if you can't afford the bigger X-Wing that costs, you know, $100, $80, that's fine. Pick up this little set for around 20 bucks or so and, you know, get a cool a couple cool, cool mini figures and get yourself a definitely cool X-Wing. Now, the wings do come down, just like on the other models, so typically we see them go down like that when they're doing some really, you know, kind of fast procedures, and then of course they kind of spread it out like this when they're kind of attacking. So they go pretty steep, depending on how, you know, steep you want to get those angles, but still, they got four guns on each side, as you guys can see. We got the long nose, we got kind of the weird place to stick the lightsaber, which is in the back. I don't know, don't remember that in the movie. We do have the four kind of uh, kind of mimic thrusters here, and it looks great with the one in the front and the back, so it's kind of blowing the, uh, the uh, thrust back. And of course, we got good old Luke Skywalker in there. Not bad, he's kind of got that classic uh, torso that we've seen before. The helmet is awesome, I haven't seen that helmet before. And of course, he's just kind of this nice orange, a pilot's, a pilot's orange, very, very cool. The cockpit, not too bad. You can see it has a little bit of the controls. It's the same controls as we saw back here on this, which is kind of weird, right? Figured they would be a little bit different. But hey, you gotta save money on these things. So overall, this kit is super cool. I like it. A lot of cool pieces you get all together. The R2-D2, you get kind of the turret cannon. And of course, you get the small X-Wing, so you don't have to buy the big one. Anyways, guys, we got a lot of giveaways coming up. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already, because you guys wanna make sure you're gonna get in on that. Thanks again, guys.